everyone! Welcome back to Two Water Bitters. Before we dive in, if you've been liking what we've been sharing, we've been actually sharing for almost six months now. It's a little crazy. And so if you like what we post, just make sure to hit that subscribe button. And we'd love to hear from you. So don't hesitate to comment any questions you would have. So we figured it's time to share with you one of our favorite new tools we this travel tools we discovered for our travels here to South America. The Charles Schwab Bank Yield Investor Checking Account. Fancy words for just a checking account. And today we're gonna tell you the four reasons we think this is a great checking account to have if you're a traveler, even if you're not a traveler, but especially if you're a traveler. So let's dive into the four reasons. First, no monthly account fee. A lot of other banks, such as Bank of America, BBNT, Wells Fargo, they usually charge up to $30 per month. $30? Yes, just to have your account there. So let me get this straight. We give them our hard earned money that they use for their own business needs and we have to pay for that. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Of course, they let you, in some cases, in most cases, they do let you waive the monthly fee if you have a certain minimum balance in the checking account, which usually is a couple of thousand dollars. But with the Charles Schwab account, you don't have any fee and you don't need to have any minimum amount balance to waive that fee. Hmm, you piqued my interest. What else you got? Number two, no foreign transaction fee. And if you're a freaking traveler like us, that can get expensive very quick. So you can imagine how helpful that alone can be. What's number three? Well, this one isn't a huge one, but number three. This one depends on how much you plan to have in that check-in account. The reason for that is because it offers 0.40% interest per year, as in you get money for having money in there. It doesn't sound like a lot because in certain savings accounts you can get up to 4%. But for checking accounts from what we've seen and from what we've had at other banks, it is one of the highest. And number four, drum rolls please. ATM rebates. So to put it simply, whenever you withdraw money from the ATM when you're abroad, you don't pay well, you actually pay the fees, but then you get them all back at the end of the month. All of them? Every single one. And here in Argentina, the fees are actually $10 every time you withdraw money. $10? Yes. So, yeah, we were really happy we got the card when we got here. From the countries we've been to until now, so we've been to Peru, Chile, and now we're in Argentina. For some things, they like to be paid by cash, so it's always better to have cash on hand. And this card has helped us so much with this part. Because exchanging money all the time, carrying too much cash on hand, and everything else can just... It can be worrisome, troublesome, and every other word you can think of in between. Yes, in Europe it's been okay. We just had a certain amount of dollars and then we exchanged that much, which wasn't much, and the rest we only paid by credit card here it was not the same yeah sometimes credit cards are not taken or the type of credit card you have is not taken plus in europe it's also easier because euro is everywhere for the most part mm -hmm. here it's you have to change your currency all the time or as far as what they just put in the atm machine take out the money and we're reimbursed at the end i guess technically number five a few side notes so you can actually apply online on your laptop or on your phone and they will if you're approved they will just mail you the cards once you've set up the account there are a couple of ways to send in money set up your direct deposit mail in checks mobile checks and wire transfers they also have one of the best customer service we've had we actually ordered the cards really late so he had to actually message them a lot and they were, they were very responsive and we got the cards on time before we left. We hope this bit of information will help you in your future travels in regards to money management. 
If you have more questions and comments, just write them down in the comments below. We're always happy to answer any questions. And if there's anything you want to see, just write that down too. We can always use more ideas for future videos and maybe we can learn something from you guys too. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.